A number of countries are upgrading their fighters. The improved machines remain the fourth generation, but their new capabilities will create serious competition for the fifth generation, except for low visibility. At the same time, they are significantly cheaper and easier to operate. On the other hand, the use of inconspicuous fifth generation fighters against an enemy with weak air defense does not make much sense. New types of weapons are being created against strong air defense, which can also be used by fourth generation fighters. This video will show the upgraded fighters that will be able to take to the air in the near future. The American F-15 EX Eagle to fighter will be an improved version of the two-seat F-15D. It will be equipped with a fully digital control system, a powerful onboard computer, new avionics, an AESA radar and a new electronic warfare system. According to the Boeing company, the new powerful engines will significantly increase the flight range up to 4,800 kilometers instead of 3,860 for the F-15D and also make the fighter the most heavily armed in the world. It is planned to carry up to 20 to short and medium range air to air and air to surface missiles, including advanced hypersonic missiles as well as guided bombs. In addition, its reliability will be significantly improved. The flight time before the overhaul is 20,000 hours instead of 8,000 hours for the F-15D. The Air Force is expected to deliver 200 aircraft after 2024 including by refining earlier versions of the F-15. Block 3 is a deep modernization of the F-18 Super Hornet fighter of the U.S. Navy. The modernization of the aircraft allows it to operate in conjunction with the F-35 stealth fighters. The upgraded fighter gets conformal fuel tanks, networking capabilities with aircraft in the group, including situational awareness and mutual targeting. To do this, it is equipped with a new radar and infrared sensors, as well as a high-speed communication system. The aircraft gets a new coating that reduces its radar visibility. It is also envisaged to be equipped with more powerful engines. 78 aircraft are planned to be delivered by the end of 2023. The Russian Su-35 VSM fighter is a modernization of the Su-35 VS aircraft. The improvement includes new engines that will provide a higher flight speed in the afterburner mode, increase its already unsurpassed maneuverability with a simultaneous increase in the combat radius. The avionics will include new AESA radar, electronic warfare equipment, and an information control system. The use of weapons is possible by external targeting. The possibility of joint work with reconnaissance and strike drones including the promising Okotnik strike drone in a single network, will be included, as well as equipping the new R-37M air-to-air hypersonic missile with a range up to 300 kilometers. Such a range will ensure the defeat of the enemy before it discovers the upgraded Su-35s. The fighter can take off this year, and its initial combat capabilities are expected by 2025. The Su-30 SM fighter is being upgraded to the SN to modification. The improvement includes new fuel-efficient engines with variable thrust vector. This will increase the flight qualities of the aircraft, its maneuverability, as well as the ability to take a large payload. The radar, the same as that of the Su-35S, provides a range of detecting aerial targets up to 400 kilometers with simultaneous tracking of up to 30 of them and aiming missiles at 8. The new communication and data exchange system will allow interacting with combat aircraft in a common network and controlling drones. Other onboard equipment has also been replaced. Already this year, it is planned to deliver the first prototype aircraft. In the future, it is planned to redo all existing Su-30SM in this modification. Back in 2019, the French Ministry of Defense announced an investment of about $2 billion in upgrading the Rafale fighter to the F-4 version. The new modification includes a new engine control unit, a modified ASA radar, new intelligence and communication modules, including satellite. The crew will receive a new helmet-mounted display and targeting system. The armament of the new Rafale will consist of an operated scalp cruise missile, 
ANASMP and nuclear missile, Mika NG air to air missiles, and WASM type guided bombs with a caliber of up to 1,000 kilograms. It is expected that the creation of the F for modification will take place into stages. The first batch of 28 aircraft in variant for one will be delivered in 2024. The second in the F4 to variant will be delivered by 2030. The operated Swedish JAS 39E Gripen, in addition to an improved engine, new radar, infrared detection and tracking systems, electronic warfare and other avionics, is equipped with an onboard computer with artificial intelligence elements, which greatly simplifies the decision making process by the crew and allows it to act almost intuitively. In addition, the aircraft can operate in a common network, exchanging information about the situation not only with other fighters of the group, but also with ground and naval forces. And the use of weapons is possible by external targeting outside the visibility zone of its own information sensors. The Indian fighter Tejas 1A is an improved version of the Tejas 1 aircraft. This is a multi-purpose fighter with a composite delta wing without stabilizers, the design of which provides high dogfight speed and high maneuverability. However, good maneuverability is also achieved due to reduced static stability. It is equipped with a new electronic warfare system, an AESA radar and significantly improved avionics. It is also possible to install external electronic warfare containers for group protection of combat formations in conditions of strong air defense counteraction. The Indian Air Force, scheduled to be re-equipped with a new aircraft by 2023. The Chinese Pakistani fighter JF-17 Block III is a modification of the JF-17 aircraft in service with Pakistan. It will be equipped with a new electronic warfare system, improved avionics, including a digital flight control system by wire, a helmet-mounted display and aiming system, and a new radar that will be more resistant to interference, have a detection range of up to 170 kilometers, simultaneously accompany up to 15 targets and fire at four of them. The new engine significantly increases the thrust-to-weight ratio of the aircraft, the first flight test took place in Chengdu, China, in 2019. Currently, the Pakistan Air Force has placed an order for 50 fighters of this series. Their delivery began in 2022. Subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to press the bell, put likes, write comments. See you again.